13329 Russet Leaf Lane in San Diego. Going to start here at the front of the home. And uh, the home is very well maintained. Uh, it's in great shape. Unfortunately, the roof is original with the home. Uh, approximately 30 years old and is ready to be replaced. There are no complaints of any leaks, but we do find some areas on the roof that are absolutely leaking and have been for a while. We do see a little bit of sun damage around some of these corners. We'll find a little bit of termite damage and uh, dry rot up on the roof. We can actually see some um, termite damage right there. It is always much more extensive when the roof comes off. And so we can expect that we'll have moderate wood repair on this home. Let's go ahead and jump up there and take a look at what we see. <laughs> All right, when this home was built, drip edge was not required. We can see that nice white piece of drip edge on the neighbor's house that has been redone. And uh, this piece of trim is uh, what's used as a tile riser. Um, really, we would prefer to get rid of this and then go with a drip edge and a bird stop to keep anything out from underneath. Um, if you reach in here, you can feel that this creates a little spot for, wa uh, for water to get caught. And, um, you know, really feel like that's a bad design, but has been done a lot uh, back in the 80s and early 90s. Uh, this, we call this a Malibu tile or a low profile S tile, barrel tile, all those several names for it. It's very strong. Uh, but what we'll see consistently around this roof is this break right here. Um, there are chipped corners everywhere. And that is very consistent. A lot of them have been glued back in place, it seems like, because I can't get those two broken ones out. But that does not compromise waterproofing. So if we do a lift and reset and reuse these existing tiles, any of them that have this chip get reused. We just try to put them on a place of the roof where you can't see them. I love color blended tiles. I think these tiles were originally beautiful. The problem is, is that these ones here still show the color because they don't get any sunshine. The rest of the roof has been pretty badly worn over the last 30 years. And so that appeal, that the appeal of that uh, color blend has kind of gone away. It actually looks pretty, pretty good over here as well. But um, I always encourage to go to new tiles, even though these tiles are still perfectly fine. We'll um, obviously replace all the broken ones. Uh, but um, but uh, but yeah, you, you can definitely get another 30 years out of these. It's just uh, the looks of them. New tiles make the house look um, gorgeous and look new, like, like the stamped concrete and the uh, landscaping. This is what's called a tight valley, uh, the old, old method of tiling a valley. When this roof goes back together, we're going to leave three inches, four inches in these valleys to allow for debris to get uh, to rinse out of there. What happens with these tight valleys is stuff gets caught and then um, diverts water in ways it's not supposed to go. So again, we can see those chip corners all over the place. Uh, da, 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 da. The mortar flashings are failing, uh, pretty much all of them. All right, so here's the first uh, big leak that we see. So I know there are no complaints of any leaks, but this is leaking and has been leaking for a long time. And I would suspect that there is mold and mildew in the attic based on water's getting in there every time it rains and has been for it takes at least a few years for that paper to completely vanish like that uh, we can see the same thing over there on that heat vent that tile has slid out of place exposing the paper to the sun so that's going to be bad uh, this tile looks like it's been long gone we got broken tiles broken tiles Another broken one here. Um, this one slid down and this is called the tile pan. Uh, that looks properly installed and it's actually still working surprisingly. Uh, but because this was exposed, water's been getting there. Um, anywhere where the paper's exposed, where water's going directly to the paper, I'm gonna expect to find some wood repair, some plywood damage. We see a whole bunch of water streaking on this section as well. Uh, this, tile, this tile was like that when I found it. I moved it so we could get a look at the paper underneath it. Moving quickly, looks like we got another little failed spot right here at the bottom of the skylight. This north facing side of the roof is a little bit slick because of the um, moss growth. But yep, sure enough, that's exposed paper. Um, that's a major issue. Another one over there. So um, yeah, oh, another one right there. So 
yeah, this roof does have several leaks. Um, fortunately, for, for whatever reason, they're just not showing on the ceiling. So it is absolutely time for a new roof. And um, I'm gonna suggest that we go new tile because of all the broken ones on this roof. And it's obvious that you take care of your home and you like it to be beautiful. And new tile will make it beautiful.